So it's harvest time in my list of California backyard. I'm in zone 9B, but believe it or not, I grow all kinds of tropical fruit. And the fruit that's ripening right now are long odds. I have tropical guavas. I have avocados and I have star fruit ripening. Some of you may have seen my latest video on star fruit. But today we're going to take a, a cluster of these juicy long ons and we're going to harvest them and we'll do a taste test. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody. So here we go. We're going to cut down our... I've been picking a few of these a little bit at a time, but this is the first large clump that I have actually harvested and it's pretty darn heavy so let's take them over to my bench and we will do a quick taste test so as you've seen we harvested a bunch of uh, long lines and I'm going to test taste test and see how what the flavors like um, I do have two different areas of the tree that I harvested. As you can see, the ones that are in the full sun that is taking our full blistering hot sun um, is smaller and darker. And some of the fruit uh, looks like it um, has has fruitlets in various stages. Whereas the ones that um, started in the sun and by the weight of the fruit, drug it down into the mostly shade um looks more uniform and we're going to do a quick taste test and see if there's a difference between the two so these ones were in the fall sun all day long these ones hang down in the shade of the tree so i'm going to take one and as you can see we'll take one this one here we'll take a big one and then this one right here so as you can see the ones in the sun were dark brown and the ones in the shade were has a little more green on it they're both the same age and so we're going to try the green one first and for those of you that are not familiar with long lines, uh these trees came from tropical china and uh northern i believe northern vietnam i may be wrong but uh they're not really tropical in their requirements though they're frost uh sensitive to a certain degree when they're younger but we're gonna give this a try. Oh wow, it's juicy. <laughs> very, very juicy and absolutely sweet. As you can see, it's got a small pit in it. And the it's hard to describe the, the flesh texture. It's very, very juicy, but very sweet. Um, it has a perfumey flavor to it. Not as much perfume flavor as a as a lychee, um, but very delicious. Now here's the one that we harvested from the um, the sun, and the texture looks to be about the same, but it's not as sweet as the. Uh, it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as the ones that have hung down into the shade. So I think that probably these, this bunch right here weighed about five pounds and this bunch right here weighed about maybe two pounds. So therefore it wasn't heavy enough to pull it down into the shade. But yeah, both are good. But this one right here is much more delicious. So my name is Jeff. If you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody's comments. One thing I would like to say is that while long lines are not a very popular, I should say not a very common fruit to grow here in Central California, Northern California, it's worth a try. Uh, I've grown this tree. This tree is over 10 years old. It occasionally gets a little bit of frost damage, but when you can get fruit like this, it's worth the try. Look at the size of that one. That one's a big one. You have a good day.